Hey Tank Watchers, welcome to this week's Starship Update. First up, a word of thanks to Mary, a Boca Chica resident and NSF team member who tirelessly documents Starship development. All of these photos and videos are from Mary unless otherwise noted. Thanks, Mary. Getting right into it, Starship serial number 8's nose cone installation has continued all week, culminating with Tankzilla, the crane that was holding the nose cone up, being disconnected and moved next to the orbital launch pad. What Tankzilla is doing over there, we don't know. It could be getting ready to lift orbital launch pad parts, or it could be getting out of the way of any potential debris from an upcoming serial number 8 static fire test. Or perhaps that's just where they're staging it before they move it back to the build site. Speaking of an upcoming static fire, there have been a couple days now where we thought they were going to attempt some engine testing, but weather has prevented necessary work from being done on the nose cone before that testing can take place. Elon tweeted that high winds were posing a challenge and that SpaceX is targeting Sunday, November 1st for a static fire attempt, but that tweet was from the 29th, which as of the time of this recording was two days ago, so it's probably already out of date and that static fire Hello. That tweet, as of this recording, was two days ago, on October 29th, so that timeline has likely already slipped further. I know, it can seem like we're perpetually one week away from serial number 8's 15 kilometer flight, but trust me, we're getting close. So where are we at? Now that they swapped out one of the Raptors from the previous static fire test, Raptor 39 to be exact, swapped for Raptor 36, they've got to complete another static fire test with all three engines. Additionally, there will be various other tests before SN8 is ready to fly. Probably some RCS testing, maybe some flap actuation testing, definitely a cryo proof of the liquid oxygen header tank in the nose cone, and maybe even some other engine tests, such as a single engine or double engine static fire. On Saturday, Elon went on a bit of a Starship tweet spree. These are so nice for all the information they provide us. He's confirmed that Starship serial number 8 will target the water until the last possible moment to avoid damaging the launch and landing pads. He's done some expectation setting, saying that even a stable, controlled descent would be a win. And in this neat reply to Tim, he says that they've tested the belly flop maneuver with subscale Starship models in a wind tunnel. This may seem like a, of course they have type statement, but it does make me slightly more confident that they'll nail the landing on the first try. Next up, serial number 9 got aero covers and was moved into the high bay for flap installation. At the same time, on Saturday, a flap was unwrapped and moved next to the high bay. With serial number 9 serving as serial number 8's backup should anything go wrong with the testing campaign, the Starship test program hopefully won't miss a beat in the event of a rud or some other problem. Serial number 10 isn't too far behind either, the stacking of it continues in the mid bay. Next up, the last of the old nose cones was finally scrapped. But have no fear, a new one was spotted inside the fabrication tent on the same day. And last, a whole bunch of self-propelled modular transporters were delivered, while some modifications and assembly is being done on a pair of them. I had thought in one video this week, based on chatter in our Discord, that this was a gantry crane for the high bay, but in fact, this is a way to connect transporters together in a wider configuration. What are they doing with this Franken SPMT? I have no clue. Let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe it's for transporting Super Heavy to the launch pad, but it seems a little bit early for that. Next, we still don't know what the tent near the orbital pad is for, but deliveries to and near it have continued all week. Now, there's a full double-wide trailer parked out front. This could be yet another indicator that the orbital pad has a ways to go before construction on it is complete. Alright, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your support. There's a lot of cool milestones coming up, stacking of Super Heavy, SN8's flight, SN9 doing whatever SN9 is going to do. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video. If you'd like to support what we do, we've got a merch store with some cool t-shirts and other NSF gear. And we've got the YouTube membership program with perks like Discord access, live chat emoji, and members only preview videos. These weekly updates are a work in progress, so let me know what you think in the comments. With your support, we'll keep making everything we do better with every release. And finally, thanks to Mary, Boca Chica Gal on Twitter, who relentlessly documents Starship development. Thanks, Mary. Okay, that's it. Have a good week, everybody. See you next week. Be excellent to each other.